They played really good defense, so I'll give them uh, the credit that they're due. And, uh, and we also made a lot of careless uh, mistakes. Steve, you were so encouraged by the defense Friday in Milwaukee. Um, it seemed like it was uh, uncharacteristically forgiving tonight. I mean, wh what led to that? What did you guys not do on defense that you had been? Uh, we didn't really uh, bring the level of intensity that we needed until the start of the third quarter. Um, that was the first sign of, uh, of life with our defense. Um, but at that point, we were swimming upstream. Uh, we were just trying to get back in the game. And uh, I thought we had a chance to, to get back into it right away. And uh, we missed a couple shots. We had had some open threes that, that looked good, didn't go in. They came back down. We lost uh, somebody on a back door. They made a three and transitioned and got the lead right back to whatever it was. So um, you, can't, you can't wait until halftime against the team with the, the best record in the league. Uh, to, to start defending, and I thought that's what happened tonight. We just didn't bring the requisite energy to, to begin the game. Steph, uh, very quiet, 3 of 12 tonight. How much of that was what they did to him? How much of him was him missing shots, or what did you see? It's always him? always a combination. You know, you, you could, I'm sure we'll look at the tape and we'll see some shots that, uh, that Steph would normally hit, and we'll also see some excellent defense. Van Vliet picked him up full court, did a good job getting into him. Uh, so it's always a combination. Uh, you mentioned the team didn't bring the level of intens intensity early in the game. Do you think guys relaxed a little bit knowing that their best player wasn't playing? Uh, no, I don't think that was the case. Um, uh, I just think um, we just didn't quite have it. You know, it's, uh, it's just one of those nights where, you know, you, you would hope that uh, we'd be – more engaged and more um, energetic playing against uh, this team, but um, we didn't bring it. And uh, I've got to do a better job um, preparing them to play and getting them to uh, ready to, to get after it. Kind of along those lines, uh, Coach Nurse said before the game that sometimes when Kawhi's out, kind of works to their advantage because their offense is a, a little more unpredictable. Did you feel that at all tonight? Uh, I don't know their team well enough to, to – comment on their offense and whether it's predictable or not. I, I just think that uh, sometimes when uh, when your, your best player is out, um, it gives the other players more license to to play and to, to play with some freedom and uh, to um, be aggressive. And so I've seen that an awful lot. So um, it didn't surprise me how well their other guys play. They got a lot of good players. Is there a way to account for the general appearance that the other team was just a lot more aggressive over the course of the night for the most part. Is there, is there a way to account for yeah, it? I mean, did you – any ex way to explain it? Uh, I, uh, I can't really explain it other than, um, you know, it's uh, – we're, we're, ne we're now in a place where uh, we're defending a, a title. Um, and defending sort of a, uh, a a mantle, you know, that we've had for uh, several years. And it's a different vibe. It's a different feeling than when you're on the climb, you know, like Toronto is, uh, like Milwaukee is, um, like we were a few years ago. It's a different feeling. It's a different vibe. It's harder to get up for each game. Um, and so there are certain nights where, you can just feel it. You don't. You don't have that energy. And um, if you, um, you know, if you've played in the NBA, if you've coached in this league, you, you understand it. If you followed it uh, closely, and as you have, um, you understand that. Um, it's not an excuse. It's just reality. Um, so we uh, we did not uh, we did not bring the, the required energy. Coach, uh, your team and the Raptors are expected to potentially be there at the end when it's all said and done. Is there an edge that a team comes away with when they, if they do indeed sweep the, the season series? I would think we would have the edge at this point now that uh, they've kicked our butts twice. So I know that if that were to happen, we'd be ready to play. So that's a good thing.